Hello everybody, welcome back to Peachy Disc Golf. Today, Kang and I are back at Chattahoochee Point Park. I'm pretty excited, Kang, because I heard they've moved the basket positions for some, if not all, of the holes here, and I have yet to play the alternate pin position here, so it might feel like a new course for me. <laughs> I think they said it's all in the long position, but I'm unsure. Okay, so recently, Kang, I was on a trip to Pennsylvania to play Failure Lake, Shameless plug here, if you want to check out that video, you can check out my main YouTube channel. I'll have a link up in the corner over here somewhere. Check it out. But while I was there, I visited a disc golf shop, and they had a couple of discs for sale that I just could not pass up for a challenge. Are you excited? What is it? Today, Kang. Ugh. The Berg. Close. Oh. We got these. A pair of Polecats. DX Polecats here. I could not justify spending $35 each for some Halo Polecats. We're just using these cheapo DX ones though. These are a uh, 1300. Neither of us have ever thrown these before. What do you, first impressions as far as feel goes, what do you think? Feel, feel? is grippy. Also, what is a Polecat? <laughs> is that a weasel? What is this? Yeah, here's the stamp. Not sure what this is. Is that a real animal? I think... No clue. But I... I don't know, the rim feels horrible. I don't really like it. It's very deep and it's very blunt. Um, I do not, I cannot get a good power grip on it. I'm pretty much going to have to fan grip this. It feels like a whammo. Yeah, so Kang has a Ultimate Frisbee background. You think it's pretty, uh, like similar to that then? Yeah, it's more similar because it's a sharper angle in the rim and the, the okay. face plate. So Kang will be right at home with this. Yeah. I might be at a slight disadvantage. So we're going to play a nine hole challenge here. What are you thinking, the even holes here at Chattahoochee? Uh, no, we're going to do the odd, odd holes. holes. Odd holes. Yes. We're going to do the odds. So we'll see you guys at hole one to begin the challenge. All right, hole one, we got the pole cat. All right, it's 200 feet. Actually, now the pin position is on the right side, so normally we're used to being on the left side. So all you have to do is throw straight at it. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna go, so let's see how this flies. That was pretty straight, but yeah. also no fade. Right. There was no fade there. Which route are you going? I'm a <laughs> forehand. <laughs> no, I'm gonna just do what you try to do as well. We'll see if I can, maybe I have a little less arm speed, right? So it might fade just a little bit more. Or I'm gonna hit the tree and beat it in. Oh, let's dang. go! <laughs> All right, Chris, hit first available. Oh, you're not gonna step out and lunge and throw around the no, tree? No, I'm just going straight down, Kang. No fear. All right. Oh, he's gonna have to make a sick putt. Sick putt coming up. Don't worry. Safe par. <laughs> the sickest polecat putt you're ever gonna see. You're like 90 feet out. <laughs> it's coming up. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. So close. <laughs> All right, I got my pole cat to putt with. I don't even know how to hold this. You gotta count in that there's no fade also. What? Ooh. And no glide. Dang. This thing didn't go anywhere. I'm gonna clean up here. Yeah, yeah, we got this. This is BS. Easy cleanup. All right, par for Kang. I'm eating a bogey already right off the bat. All right, this hole three, par three, um, 275 feet. The pin position now is to the left, so you go up and then right after this tree line, it's hard left. I actually, I can't see the basket at all, so we'll see how <laughs> it goes. Dang, that's far left. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky for the, um, the pole cat without any fade. Did that flip up? Yes, it did. Oh my. It flipped up pretty flat. Yeah, and it just kept Heiser. no fade, no fade. I thought I was gonna put that on Heiser, but I think I like raised my body up and put it on Anheuser a yeah. little bit. Oh, short. Oh no. Uh-oh. All right, got the lid. Oh, nice This run. doesn't fade at all. 
got a straddle. It's got no fade. Oh! Oh! These just feel terrible, dude. <laughs> that was a great bid, though. Yeah. Nice. All right, a couple of tap-ins to finish out here. Can I tap you out? Or no? Yeah, if you want to. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> Let's go. We got hole five, 200 feet, deep tunnel shot. Uh, he's gotta go straight at it. Maybe put a little bit of ante, but I think I'm gonna try to flip it up and pray. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, in the valley. Oh, no. we have, neither of us have done that. Oh no, on that's video super yet. bad. All right, I'm sort of doing the same thing, just going straight at it. Oh. Put some Anheuser on it, what the heck? That was unintentional. My form is off right now. Oh, oh okay. no. Yeah, gang's down in the valley here. I'm sure you don't really have a look at all, huh? Nope. But I'm gonna try anyways. Okay, well you made it up at least. Oh my God. So Chris landed to the right of the fairway, which is fine because it's still wide open. He could just hide yeah. it in. The problem, the, the biggest problem is the low ceiling. So I'm just trying to pitch it up and come in a little bit so I can have a manageable putt. Oh, and I turned it again and I juiced it. <laughs> oh no, no, dang, this disc is garbage. Chris has got a circle two putt. No, this is circle one, circle just on one the edge. Putt. Oh, oh my God. That's what agony looks like. Straddle putt and it is awkward. Oh, oh my, my God. God, two cage hits for some a pair of bogeys right here. I actually thought that was Oh good. my God, this hole. Dude, all right, so what do you think so far of the pole cat Kang? It doesn't, I mean, it didn't hit pole, it hit basket, so it should be a basket cat. True. So, I got a bogue. So far, it's actually not bad. I mean, it goes straight. I hate um, this disc. No, it's terrible. It just goes straight. That's all it can do. Except for, uh, it's hard. It's hard for me to throw things perfectly straight mm -hmm. um, when it's like, when it can flip so easily. I'm having the pro, I don't know why, but I'm like, like raising my body, I guess, and just throwing everything on Anheuser today. So, I mean, I haven't played in like a week or a week and a half or so now. So I'm a little rusty, but you know, this is, I'm not liking the way this just feels at all. Hole seven, 255 feet, par three. Now it's on the left side, which actually opens up the gap a lot yeah. for right hand, right handed backhand throwers. So, all right, I, this doesn't fade though. You gotta try to, to not get it to flip as much. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Oh, it's still turning. No fade. Yeah. That would've been a money throw with like anything but that disc. <laughs> I'm gonna try to not do, I, I think at the end of my throws I'm doing like this and straightening out. So I'm gonna try not doing that. I still did it, oh, I guess. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Chris has got a long circle two putt. It's gonna be more of a throw than a putt. Oh no. So much flip. That would have been money with the zone. Oh man, what, if it was at the other pin position. You would have been money. Except for I wouldn't have been aiming in this spot, but let's pretend I would have been. Oh no. Oh, that, it doesn't fade. Did I that turn while you putted too or no? Yeah, no, I had it on little Annie. Oh, oh this is tough, right? This is tough. I don't even think I'm gonna make my putt. I don't want to change my putting style just because my disc is different. No, I would not say it's worth it for this disc. <laughs> but I want to, I want to make a jump putt today. What? Pole cat. Oh my god! I thought you made that. How? I gotta be gentle here. Don't want to beat it in too much, Kang. 
<laughs> I'm gonna try to do this in one shoot. Let's see, but that was unbelievable what I just witnessed. <laughs> All right, nice. There we go. Hole nine, 180 feet, par three, same spot. I actually thought they were gonna move it to the other pin position that's under the tree on the left. Yeah. And that would've been more fun, so, but since I have the pole cap, I'm just gonna throw straight at it. This is the ace run. This is going in. This will redeem the pole cat for both of us. That's not gonna fade. That was a good, good attempt though. What? It, that was perfect, I thought it was gonna fade in. No, Ken, you already said this thing doesn't fade. Yeah, but I, I really aired it out there. Right, that's like, true, you put it up, you put some height. Yeah. All right, Chris is going with his pole cat. Yep, I'm going hyzer this time, like steep hyzer, I think. So, okay, so that is flipping that much, right? Actually, yeah, yours is flipping now. This is garbage. DX Plastic is thumbs down. <laughs> All right, time for a money money putt here to still get a birdie. You can do it. Oh. Oh. We got some tap-ins here. Okay. Hey, getting another birdie at least, you know? This is our first birdie with the pole cat. <laughs> I think. Oh my. Oh man. Hole 11, par 3, 240 feet. The basket's on more on the left side. You can either go down the right gap, which I don't see why you would with the pole cat because it's not going to fade enough. Right. Or you go down the left gap and turn it over. So that Sounds I, like the play. Sounds like the play. But I'm scared I'm going to overturn it. So I'm going to try to throw flat and then pray that it turns. No. Oh, yours is turning a lot no, now. No, yes. Like I said, don't go down the right gap, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Chris saw what you shouldn't do. I'm gonna go further, further left, I guess. Since I know mine, I think my purple one's flippier than yours at this point. Oh no, well. No, that's. It's still turning at least. Buttery. <laughs> Look at that, <laughs> the path skip. Wow, that was. It landed all the way on that path up there. All right, Chris has got a long circle two putt. Honestly, we've been saying that every hole. <laughs> right. For every throw. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Should've Chris. just gone for a throw instead of a putt. That was just dumb. It just doesn't fade. <laughs> yep. God. Oh my god. I think if you had the Luna, it would have made it. This disc is such garbage. It didn't fade in at all. We're gonna do this in one shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna tap mine in. Nice. So you have hole 13, par 3. The pin now isn't on the hill on the right, it's now on the left. Uh, left side, so it's actually only 200 and actually it's further technically 270 feet. I don't agree with that I feel like it's close. It doesn't right? feel further. It feels closer, but we got to get Daniel with his Bushnell Yeah, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna try to hyzer flip this and really really get the max distance out of it Well, you know if it was on the pin position on the right it would have been money money, but it's not Chris says He's gonna forehand this Home Depot bucket lid. Shameless plug, sponsor us Home Depot. I'm not, I'm gonna try to also hyzer flip it. Oh my God. That's pretty much as good as you can get. Right, what that. the heck? Fade at all. Ooh, that was great height. Chris has got a circle two putt. I'm tired to say it multiple times already. Oh, please. Short. All right, we're gonna keep it rolling. We're gonna see if Chris can clean up this putt. For sure. This is a guaranteed, even with the pole cat. Even with the pole cat, he says. Yep. He says it's guaranteed. Wow, he wasn't lying. I'm gonna say. You're guaranteed. Guaranteed. Let's go. Boom. 
So hole 15, 240 feet. It used to be on the left side, um, closer at 205 feet, but now it's further, straight at it, 205. Uh, unfortunately, this pole cat flips. So that right side is this whole bunch of rocks and swamp. Yep. So I'm actually kind of worried right now. So I'm gonna try my best to keep it on pure hyzer and pray. Wow. No, <laughs> what a tree kick. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna try the same thing. Just put it on a lot of hyzer. Oh, too low. It's just not high enough. That's in the swamp. But is it, it wet just though? Rained. Chris is putting with the bag on. This is disgusting. He landed in some- In the swamp. In the swamp. He's got a long circle two throw in. Oh, in the swamp again. No, I think you're fine. Ooh. And here we go, Chris. Hole 17, part three, 230 feet. It used to be on the shortest pin position, that's 165 on the right side, but now it's in the furthest left side position. Uh, kind of wish I didn't have a pole cat, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna try to keep it on hyzer and uh, see if I can get there. That would have been money on the other pin position, Kang. It, 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 it flips on every, th I threw that on hyzer, right? No? I, I think so. Oh my God, that's money. Slide up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Parked at least. It's by the pole where it belongs. Okay. All right, Kang's last chance for a jump putt with the pole cat. Oh my Ooh, god! No fade. What is this? I'll tap, tap it in. Tap Chris us in, Kang. Cut. Tap us in. This is BS. Far. What is this? Uh, poison ivy has three leaves, right? Yep. Okay. Two pars. Wow. Well, that was one of the worst challenges, Kang. I think that we've done since the. Uh, the Paradox versus Wedge Ooh, Challenge right. using these DX pole cats. What did you think, Kang? This disc sucks. <laughs> it, it's like, it flips too much. I mean, it's really hard to control. It's like, if you throw it too hard, it doesn't, it, it's just not really that useful. It's not even a good putting disc either. It's yeah. Just, I don't really see the use for this disc. It feels uncomfortable in the hand for me too. Like, uh, and it's just flipping like crazy. Yeah, this was a terrible disc. I did not enjoy using it. Maybe in the Halo plastic, obviously, it might be a little more stable, but in this yeah. DX plastic, it beats in very quickly, becomes super understable. Not a disc that I enjoyed using, but I, that's gonna be it for this challenge. Kang, do you have any final thoughts about the Polecat at all? Don't buy it. <laughs> it's really not worth it. Don't buy into the hype. Unless you are trying to collect different discs or something, it's not gonna be something you're gonna enjoy throwing, I don't think, too much. Uh, even for like a noodle arm like me, I was flipping it way too easily, but that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to the channel. Ring that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Also, let us know in the comments if there are any other challenges you would like us to see try. And until next time, guys, cheers. Cheers.